Hey everyone, I am here with Seth, and Seth is the CEO of Avergon Marketing. They are a brand and marketing strategy firm, and Seth specifically works as a fractional CMO and as a CEO advisor. And I brought Seth in today to talk about how your brand look and feel specifically translates to dollars. So Seth, the floor is yours. Thank you. So when we're talking about dollars, and we're talking from a digital standpoint. We could be talking in print, but let, let's stay let's stay to digital for the time being because it kind of they're they're similar in the way they operate. You need to create an initial hook with that potential target audience, right? You have a theory that they're going to be interested in this type of imagery, this type of copy, this type of look and feel. And by the way, there needs to be cohesion between the two. Um, you need to have an image that kind of works with that headline, that works with the copy that you're going to be presenting and the call to action. It's something that catches their eye. So when we're talking about dollars, we're talking about, again, conversion. We're talking about getting someone to do something, a call to action. But I got to hook them before I can present the call to action. And that hook, the first part of that hook is the image. It really, if you think about it, it goes image, headline, subheadline, copy call to action right but it's a process and the first part of that is that image so let's say we're talking about uh a vacation let's say someone going on vacation you're going to show an image of people on a beach and they're going to be smiling and happy i love smiling happy people um because what's going to happen is your audience in theory is going to put themselves into that image right they're going to look and go oh wow i want to be that person on that beach having that tropical drink lying in the sun so that image was the first thing that got them to go, hmm, I'm interested in that. And then the headline, whatever it's going to be, that's going to catch their eye about whether it's based on price, whether it's based on luxury, whether it's based on timing, if, if it's got a scarcity play to it, that's going to pull them in a little deeper. The copy is going to give them the details, but they're already there, right? They're reading the copy because they're already interested because you gave them an image that got them excited. And then you have your call to action. So if you think about it, the dollars, the, the conversion starts with the image right? And we test multiple images. We test multiple different types of copy to see what catches their eye the most. But that imagery is a key and critical part of it. Because if the image is wrong, let's say, and I've seen this before, sometimes people try to do like a negative sale, or they'll show a bad thing, like you don't want this to happen to you, right? It doesn't sell well. That's not an attraction. There's no attraction there. There is a way that can work. But if you're really trying to promote a product or service, you want to show the benefit, right? How people are going to be excited and happy, how you made their lives better, how you made them healthier or wealthier or wiser. And that starts with an image. So I, I worked with a wealth management firm at one point, and our big image was a guy and his wife on a sailboat. Shocker, right? But it wasn't just the image. It was the, it was the confidence in them. It was the feeling, the emotion in this image that, wow. Mm -hmm. I want that. Even if you don't want a boat, even if you don't want a sailboat, it was this concept of this relaxed part of your life that got people to go, I want to talk to these guys because I want that life. Right. At that point, you're talking about the story to connect with somebody to get them to be like, all right, now I want to learn more. Right. I want into that story. Even if I get seasick, I want that boat. I want that wife. I want that, I want that life. And oh, by the way, I need to talk to you to get to there. I need to talk to this wealth management firm, to this wealth advisor, and there's a call to action. But it started with a picture that they went, ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I call that the ooh factor. The ooh factor. That is a thing. It is. <laughs> awesome. Well, if anyone wants to learn more or how to get in touch with you, what is the best way for them to do that? The best way to reach out to me is on my website, which is avergonmarketing.com, A-V-E-R-G-O-N, avergonmarketing.com, or you can reach me on LinkedIn. I am the only Seth Avergon on LinkedIn. Easy enough. Thank you so much. My pleasure.